you can learn this 3 against 2 polyrhythm in two different ways. If you are right-handed, most likely you will be more comfortable with the following way. Just move your hands like this. Together, right, left, right. Together, right, left, right. Together, right, left, right. A little bit faster. Another way to do it is the following, that is likely more comfortable for the left-handed people. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. A little bit faster. I want to stress out that this is called 3 against 2 polyrhythm because one hand will make three strokes while the other one will make two. And I'll show you. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one, two. Let's apply now this pattern on the note field. For example, we can choose these two notes. Usually I put the hand that makes three strokes on the upper note and the other one, the one that makes two strokes, on the lower note. So this configuration. Then for example I can choose these other two notes. Notice that if you want to switch your hands and put now the left hand on the top of the instrument, then you also have to switch the pattern while my advice is to always keep the same hand on the top. So if I have my right hand now here on the upper side of the, of the instrument, I try to keep always this hand on the top. Now we can do the same thing, but we can try to change our right hand every two cycles. For example, we can go from this note to this note, and from this note to this note. Let's see. One. Again, as an example, we can try to change our right hand at every cycle in the following way. One. This is a very useful pattern that you can play on any combination of notes that you like. For example, now we show you a short composition that is based on this 3 against 2 polyrhythm.